I think I know that noise. No, no, not again. That doesn't make sense. Sakurai, there's too many characters. Too many characters. Wait, Goldfish is in? All right, I'm in then. Dang, can you believe that it's been nearly a full year since the release of Smash Brothers Ultimate? I remember getting my copy, shutting myself inside, and basically playing nothing but the game for like three months straight. I mean, at one point, I'm pretty sure I'd become malnourished and was close to dying. It was dope. Smash Ultimate has basically proven itself as one of the, if not the strongest Smash Brothers game in the series, and it's crazy to think that I was playing Smash Brothers Wii U and thinking to myself, yep, this is as good as it gets. Now we have characters like Joker and Banjo on board, but I still have my soft spot for King K. Rule, even though he's, uh, not that good. JK Baby, let's go give me some of that! Oh, you got him! But as much as I would like to sit here and just play Smash Brothers Ultimate, I think it'd be fun to take a look into some more Super Smash Brothers fan games. So let's get the ball rolling with Super Smash Brothers Duel Mario vs. Luigi. Wait, didn't I cover this already? Yeah, I feel like I did this already. Wait, no, these are completely different games. Look at that title, look at this title. Look at that one, look at this one, that one, this one, this one, that one. Totally different. Now, last time, there were some truly horrible games, so this time, I came prepared. We got a safe word. If anyone feels slightly uncomfortable, all you gotta do is say cabbage, and I'll know what that means. We'll stop. Don't worry. I got you. Cabbage! Cabbage! Well, I guess there's no character select screen because there's only two characters, but hey, look, six levels! So let's just go to Yoshi's Island here. Alright, so the second impression isn't that much better. Alright, so I guess what we got here is a two-player versus minigame. One person controls Mario, the other person controls Luigi. Uh, I have no idea what the controls are. Oh, 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 wait, here we go! Fireball action! I can punch and I can fireball Luigi, you better watch out! Uh, what? Yep, I knocked Luigi out in like a single frame. Get your butt out of here, Luigi. I'm tired of fighting nothing. That's right. I'm a winner. It's weird. I don't feel like one, though. Oh, good. More levels. Good. Now, just because I don't understand the level design philosophy behind this one doesn't mean it's not good, okay? I mean, a flat plane? You ever hear of the Bridge of Elden? Same design philosophy. Sorry to embarrass you in front of your friends. At least Luigi's victory screen is way better than Mario's. Wow. And I'm not gonna lie, there's probably a really good reason for having a level with pillars throughout the entire level. Hey, come here! No, you come here! No, you come here! You come over here right now! You come here! Hey, have you ever asked yourself, do I like Undertale? When Sans me costume was announced, did you scream loudly with excitement? Was this you? No! Well, then maybe Super Smash Toriel is for you! In Undertale, Smash Brothers. Fan game. All right, I'll be the first to ask, what? This is just so jarring. Like, what is even happening right now? There's a big empty room and I'm a weird smiley man. Where's the smashing? Where's the brothers? Where's Toriel? I guess I'll just wander around, figure out what's going on here. It's a beautiful day outside again. You should go. It, it's, uh, is what? Oh, I get it. I guess this is like a menu. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's time to smash. I regret everything. Please. Um. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, honestly. Yeah, let's go, Sans. Let's go, buddy. You can take on this meme laugh guy any day. This, this is what life is all about. 
I'm bumping into another guy. I'm trying to knock him off the platform. And I actually have an ability to use, but it only goes to the right. That's just what I like to call balance, though. Um, excuse me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I get it. I get it. I'm a rabid fighting Toriel at the Super Smash Toriel store. That's a real place. I've definitely heard of it. It's right next to the Walmart. It's like even if I win, I lose. Maybe it's time to move on. Have you ever thought to yourself, I need Smash on the go? This? This? This is way too inconvenient. Yeah, you gotta get like a carrying case. It's like, how oh man, I gotta take it out. Uh. Never again, because there is a solution. Just get an app game like Super Smash Brothers, you dummy. Of course, Super Smash Clash Brothers. This will solve all of my problems. Oh my god, stop! Stop, what is, what is happening? Why are they making that noise? What are they doing? So Super Smash Clash is supposed to be a replacement cheaper Smash Brothers alternative, right? I mean, you can't get cheaper than free. Oh, wait, that's just the demo. The game is actually $4, and in some places still listed as 8 I bought it! I bought the game! Do I need to hire someone to manage my financials? For some reason, the game's name has changed from Super Smash Clash to Super Brawl Smash. Oh, well, it's possible there was a little bit of legal trouble. Google tried to ban us, and we successfully appealed. We're back on the store. Well, I can't wait. Let's hop right in. After you get past the tutorial, you're in for a real treat. There's nothing. You have to unlock practically everything in this game. Every character, different modes, and even the event matches. The only character that you start out with is Flare. Flare. I have this other character as well, but only because I lucked out and was messing around with all the menu options. Ziggurat. Come again? Z -Z 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 Ziggurat. Why does her voice sound different? None of the other characters sound like that. The iconic battle, Flare versus Dr. Puffs! Fight! I think I'm winning! Man, this game just feels like a weird anomaly. It's almost like it shouldn't exist. The game itself doesn't really control all that well. You like the GameCube control? No! No! That's trash! It's a crutch! You gotta improve yourself! Use a digital-only interface that's barely responsive! Only then can you truly ascend. Flare is obviously based off of Mario. It's like a carbon copy of his moves. It even looks similar. Well, minus this art. Flare. You know, now that I'm really looking at him, he kind of looks like a bullfighter. Okay, so Dr. Puff is kind of like Pikachu. Oh, Jesus Christ, not again! What even is that noise? It's like they're having panic attacks! So you got Flare, you got Dr. Puff, and you got... Ziggurat. There's this, uh, M. Bison-looking dude, and an alien. And basically, the only thing that you can do in the game when you boot it up is play Classic Mode. It's exactly what you think it is, the original mode from Super Smash Bros. It's got one-on-ones, multi-man mode, giant mode, you know, things you'd expect. I'm pretty sure nothing changes between each of the characters that you choose, though, so it's all pretty static. And even things like Event Mode are just rehashes of the Classic Mode. Even the final stage of Classic Mode is just a rehash multi-man mode where the characters are binary. I unlocked free play mode? Hell yeah, baby! The AI is so annoying to fight. All this guy keeps doing is he's trying to grab me and like, what is this move? I'm not even sure if I understand how I'm actually dying sometimes. Sometimes you just get like whisked away as if some harsh breeze got you. I was at 47%. Why did I just fly off the screen? When Supra Smash Bros. has more content than your game, and your game costs money, I think there's a problem. Mugen is a pretty fascinating game because there seems to be an unlimited number of Smash Bros. builds for it. Considering that Mugen literally means unlimited, I guess it's not really all that surprising. So here we have Super Smash Bros. It's, it's like the name of the game, that means it's probably good! Whoa, that's a lot of characters. I'm already seeing some contenders for the next wave of DLC. I mean, I'm seeing some pretty good stuff here. I mean, of course, you got Waluigi, uh, looks like uh, Baldi, Morty, Minecraft Steve. Now, he's a must. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, he has one move, and it's based on how fast you can spam it. That's right. You're no match for the power of Mickey Mouse. 
really think that Peach would stand any kind of chance against Granddad? His feet have explosions! He kicks explosions! Did you see this coming, did you, Peach? I never thought I'd say this in a million years, but Alex Kidd is a big old pushover! Wasn't he supposed to be like one of the main mascots? Well, if it isn't Bootleg Harry Potter. Well, you guys will be happy to know that he still has kick. He still kicks. Go. Oh no. What are you Ugh. doing? What are you doing? For some reason, Minecraft Steve is so strong. You just have to hit someone with your main attack like three times and they're dead. Get destroyed. Oh, oh no. Kirby is too small. I can't hit him. Oh no. Please stop, Kirby. Please. Oh. Oh my. What? That's right, Freddy Fazbear is fighting Donkey Kong on the Harry Potter stage. Yeah, take some of this bad pizza, Donkey Kong. Ooh, oh, oh, you want some of this? Yeah, we'll chalk it up to bad pizza. Morty versus Papyrus, huh? Well, what the heck? For some reason, Morty's completely useless. What's up with that? I never thought I'd see the day Freddy versus Baldy. This guy's going down. Oh, oh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, uh, you guys. Help! Help me! Well, that was just uncalled for. Like, I kind of got the feeling that I'm missing something, you know? Like, I'm supposed to talk about a certain game that I forgot about or something. I can't, can't remember. You don't said about the Super Smash Flash. What about Super Smash Flash? I think it's also made by the same guy that made Rival Super for Smash Deeper. Flash. Welcome you did not mention Super Smash Flash. What about Super Smash Flash 2? Why not Super Smash Flash 2? Super Smash Flash 2. What about Super Smash Flash 2? Super Smash Flash 2. 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 Super it's on par, if not better, than Super Smash Bros. Crusade. It's the complete package for your Smash Bros. fan game needs. It is without a doubt one of the most ambitious fan games out there, worthy of its own video because it's jam-packed with tons of content. I mean, where do I even start? You have 30 plus characters here in online mode, single player modes like Classic, and even bonus modes like Break the Targets, Home Run Contest, and even another Break the Targets inspired mode where you have to break these crystals as fast as possible. It kind of reminds me of those car segments from Street Fighter, just with like a lot more cars. All of that with tons of levels, remixed music, and you have yourself a fully featured Smash Brothers game here. It's crazy to think that this game could easily be an actual paid for game experience, but all you have to do is go download it. Most of the characters in the game are just ported over from the original Smash games. You have your classic characters like Mario, Bowser, or Link, and they control exactly like you'd expect them to. Oh, and speaking of controls, you can actually use a joystick with this game, and therefore use an actual GameCube controller to play the game. It might take a bit of getting used to, and you might have to make some adjustments to the settings based on your own preferences, but once you get everything set up, it feels really responsive and seamless. The obvious attraction to the game is the new characters, though. Characters like Naruto, Luffy, Goku, and Sora. I mean, there's actually quite a lot of new characters here. A lot of them are characters that you might not have even really expected. But a lot of them honestly make a lot of sense. Like Isaac from Golden Sun. I always thought that he would make an interesting character. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's another sword boy, but I mean, he's got hands. Got the hand thing. Admittedly, Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia is kind of a cool addition, even though, again, he's another sword boy. But he's got two swords. Okay, two. That makes him twice as good as anyone else. Now, Bomberman makes a lot of sense to me. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that he didn't make the main roster in Smash Ultimate. He has this pretty useful ability to throw out bombs all over the map and then detonate them whenever he wants. Black Mage, on the other hand, has a bunch of really useful spells, but they're kind of hard to land. And all of these characters make a lot more sense to me than, uh, the anime characters. I don't have anything against them or anything. If anything, a lot of their movesets are actually kind of cool. And just like all the other characters, every moveset is completely unique to that character. Like Goku has his famous Kamehameha. And just like the anime, it's gonna take about three episodes to charge. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'll get, ba I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'll get back to you. That was actually kind of underwhelming. All in all, this game is supremely polished. 
The music is great, the sprites are amazing, you even have some unlockable characters to go for. I didn't even get that much of a chance to talk about some of the other minigames, like this soccer minigame or basketball one, or the fact that the game is still getting updates to this day, with plans for characters like Waluigi and Ryu to join up. But when it comes down to it, it's easily one of the best Smash Brothers fan games, and above all, one of the best fan games in general I think I've ever played. And that's saying a whole lot. Well, I think that's gonna do it, because there can't possibly be any more games out there. I mean, the fact that it's written down in my script that way is all the proof that I need. Oh no, bamboozled! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more videos like these. Leave some suggestions down below, some ideas. Uh, if you want me to cover a certain topic in the future, I'd love to hear about it. I mean, I read those comments. I mean, half of them would probably say cabbage right now. Quick shout out to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. And if you didn't know, I stream over on Twitch as well. So if you want to go follow that channel and come hang out with me live, go ahead. And if you just can't wait for more videos, i got two more videos for you right there. I'll see you next time.